worked very hard this, this year uh, over, well, now for eight months to make it very international. We hope now that it will go to uh, Chiara Baldini and uh, Diogo Ruvio in, in Boom Festival. Uh, so Boom was founded in 1997 with a traditional classic trans party uh, structure with a dance floor, a chill out, and uh, the flea market and the restaurant area. And it started with the intention to create a gathering of the tribes and a place where all the travelers would uh, meet again in Europe after traveling all over the world. And the idea of the symposium was to try and get people to work together collectively. We're all doing something good all around the world. We have people from Colombia, from Switzerland, from Poland, from France, Germany, even Mongolia. I'm, I'm from humble Scotland, so. Uh, but a lot of American input and many, many projects. This symposium, because it's the 40 year anniversary, we'd hope to also bring in the intellectual and cultural aspect, not simply the festival culture that Raucourt has adopted and has somehow become identified with, but for me Raucourt is a much more culturally important village than simply the festival village. When Kent Minault performed, he was really talking about the first manifestation of this idea and that was that we would build a new culture and we would divorce ourselves from the old culture. And we realized, and they, he realized particularly in his crew, the Degers, Provo, they all realized there's no moving away from society. You can't divorce yourself from it. So you have to find a way to integrate it and make your values a part of it. And perhaps, certainly the hippies and the flower power and Provo changed the culture of their day. And they've allowed for us to perhaps continue that change. And what we did in those two days of the symposium is we listened to each other, the individual places that we've been and some of the bigger ideas of how we could take them forward. We also tried to capture the original Igor spirit, which was about the dreams and the imagination of all of us. And together when we're sharing them, uh, it just makes it so much more exciting, vibrant. And some of us now, you know, I'm one of the old elders and what we've got to do is connect the braves of the tribe with the elders. The braves need to have the freedom to do it differently than we did it. But it's really important that you have that synergy between the elders and the braves so that the elders have that knowledge, they have some experience, but they shouldn't tell people how to do it in the future. But the braves do need to show a bit of respect to some of us. We're moving away from a kind of black block mentality, a kind of barricade mentality, to an attempt to, to use these free cultural spaces, the solid ones, the, the long-term ones, as nodes and allow uh, movement between them and allow a kind of alternative universe in the many universes that we live in for younger people and for ourselves to move into this vision we have of a more inclusive cultural life. And part of it is then taking these ideas that we've managed to generate and take them to Boom and Christiania and elsewhere and get it larger again. That's my view anyhow, whether it's, you know, whether it's a view that's generated by exhaustion <laughs> after all the work. The big hope is that this is the third symposium, it's the first one I've attended, but we, we have a chance now of making sure that we all have our websites connected, that we contact each other by emails and that we don't regard ourselves as the maker of a new wheel. What we're doing is we're inventing maybe a little hub that can be connected to all the other hubs that are out there. Some of the ones I was just mentioning, like the intentional communities, like the eco-village networks, like the, the tribes that are nomadic who go around putting festivals on around the world. 
we are many tribes, but ultimately we're one people. I feel home in Christiania. I feel home in Ruigort. I feel home at the Boom Festival. I felt at home in Goa. Uh, I felt at home in Tacheles, in Big Squad in Eastern Berlin. I felt at home in many of these places. It was very clear today that we, as we are here, we are not the alternative. We are who we are. Um, we are part of the world, we are part of these systems. These systems could not have come into place without us. And if you want to get rid of them, it's us that should jump in. And we should take uh, with us all children, because in the end there's only one world, and it's our world. A playful human, the concept of a new you, a new kind of human being after Homo sapiens and Homo faber. What we are actually doing here, we create games that people love to play along with. We create festivals, we create all kinds of actions in a way that appeal to all people's child inside. We communicate with the child in everybody and this is our force. One person asked why are we here to meet, that's nice. I can tell you we are here to inspire each other to build on an international community of free cultural spaces and to meet, smell, taste and look at each other.